Good morning, Rafa. Hi, Nasha. Hello, RJ. Hello, Hiraya and Isla. Hi, Aji, Alan, and Ria. Good morning, Ania, Haley, and Hallie. Good morning. Hey, RJ. How are you doing? Hello, Kelly, Eliana, Elena from Cavite. Are you excited for today's class? Hi, Yanni. Cizreen, hello. Hello, Clo Maxine. How are you doing today? Hi there, Maya. Vanessa of Marilao is saying hello to everyone. Hello, Kobe from Antipolo. Hello, Javier. Good morning. Are you warming up your fingers? Ava, are you warming up your drawing fingers? Good morning, Aria. Hello, Isabel Nicandro. Alexi and Zay from Antique. Hello there. Hi, Mavis from Mandaluyong and Inigo. Andy, hi there. Time to warm up our drawing fingers. Hello, Iona, Renzo from, and Renzo from Antipolo. Hi there. Hello, Jadidia and Martellino sisters. Are they awake? Hi, Alan and Lucas. Hi there. I'm saying hello to you this morning. Everybody, warm up your drawing fingers. Warm up your drawing fingers. Hi, Maya and Florian. Georgina from Tai Tai says, Good morning, classmates. And Smile says, Good morning. Estelle and Soleil are awake. Yippee doo. Hello, Isa and Karil. Are you warming up your drawing fingers? Hi there, Joshua. And Sian from Cavite is here. Hi, Julia. Warm up your drawing fingers. Warm up, warm up, warm up. We're alive and enthusiastic, says the Martellino sisters. Jovi! Hello and good morning! Amira and Annika are watching. Time to warm up your drawing fingers. Cal and Bugs are present. Hooray! Hi, Amika and Amaris from Mandaluyong. Good morning. I love that smile. Hello, Bea and Nathan, Heather and Ginger. Hello, Zion Lee of Davao, Lance and Stephen, Hannah and Shanna, all the way from Cebu. Maayong buntag! Hello, everybody! Joy Picondo is here! And Hannah from Zambales is ready! Everybody warm up your drawing fingers! Drawing fingers! Drawing fingers! Drawing fingers! And Lida of Lucena is here! And Silver is here! with her baby brother and Angelo from La Union is here 
And El and Jared of Paranaque is here. And Jacob is watching from Bataan. Whoopie doo! Are you warming up your drawing fingers? We're just waiting for our other classmates. They're coming! Like our classmate Sana is here! And everyone from Bataan is here! And Jericho from Paranaque is here! And Marga is here! And Lucas is here! And Kitty is here! And Zephyr is here! Oh, how can you all fit into my mobile phone? Hi, Syrah and Sophie from Coronadal, South Cotabato. Kate and Kill, welcome to the 11th day of the drawing party. Maddie Kua and Sophia. Annika is here. Eli and Owe is here. Lucha and Leela are here. Wowee! Drake and his three-year-old brother is here. Aiden and Caleb are here. And Jedi is here. Caleb from Canada is here. And Susan is here. Kalal and Lance and Chloe and Johan and Jarla and Shanika and Angela is here. <sighs> Good morning, Ripley. Good morning. Hello, Max from Antipolo, Raiko, and Chiara. Are you warming up your drawing fingers? Ken, Key, Maggie, and Dion from Tai Tai, and Chelsea, and Theo, and Yaying, and Sam, and Clyde, and Finn, and 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 Abram from Perth, Australia is here. And Dwayne and Dwight are here. And it's their 11th birthday. And it's our 11th time to do this class. Goodness gracious me. And Dia from Prado Farms. And Heather is here. And Sean and Shane. So many people. And Samara and Miguel from Cancer is here. Hello, Renalyn. Yes, I can read your message. And Shello of Baguio Swimming Pool Complex. Yes, I am reading your message. And Maya is asking, can we start? Just in a little while. We're just waiting for your other classmates. Be patient. Patience is a really good virtue to practice. Hello, Jewel and Jade. Hello, Ripley. Hello. Good morning from Sofia Mendoza, Princess and Wenaling, all the way from Kamuning. Hi, Niron. How is Baguio? Whoopie doo. Zandra and Alex are here. Good morning, Charisse. I miss you. Hello, Sky of Seattle. It must be late there. Hello, Miguel and Nika from Marikina. Marikina. Kirsten and Kenzie are here from Pasig. Marcus Mandap from Sindalan is here. Hello, Dylan. Welcome back. Elijah from Laguna. Of course I notice you. And Kiko and Sean of Kainta. And Winka says, this is my 11th time. Thank you. Hello, Frankie from La Union. And Leon says, I'm ready, teacher Robert. And Tarek is here from Cebu. And Joaquin and Ella are here. Joaquin and Ella are here. Whoopie doo, it's party time. Mia and Linda of Naga City are here from Bicol. May and Emily says, good morning. Gianna says, happy morning, classmates. Whoopie doo, it's party time again. 
Hello, Gabby and Berna from Angeles. And Nayeli is here. All warming up. And Pepper, the Pepper is here. It must be party time because Pepper is here. Alexi and TJ from Das Marinas is here. And Ellen Joaquin says, good morning again. And Maya says, good morning. Angry faces. Hello. Hi, Angela. Nazreen is here and Desmond from Bataan. It's Desmond's first time. Welcome, Desmond. We're happy to have you. And Olivia from Laguna is here and Shanna is here and Ricardo is here. And Ian J and Ian J says, no, Pepper says, hey Ian J, it's me, Pepper. So everyone's saying hello to each other through this site as well. And Carlene Mirafaith and Caitlin Miralove are here. And in Inigo Andy says, it's his doggy's birthday. <laughs> Hello, Diego and Joaquin and Elijah from Laguna. We should start. Should we? Shouldn't we start? At least start with a warm-up? Someone from North Korea is watching? Oh, wow. That's amazing. And Jaron is here. And Fonzie from Ilocosur. My goodness. Hello, Sophia and Tala. Hello there. I think we're done warming up our drawing fingers. They're all they're all warmed up. So let's start drawing. Let's get our ordinary pen. And let's start drawing. And everybody will start guessing again what we're drawing again. It's party time, party time, drawing party time, crazy drawing party time. What are we drawing? What are we drawing, guys? Hello, Amelia from North Carolina and Sophie. Good morning, Sophie, says Jenna. And Riley and Andy is here. It's their first time. Welcome, Riley and Andy. Yay! They're here. And Judson and Sheena from Silang Cavite is here. Hi, Sophie. Yes, not Sophia. It's Sophie. And it's Candice's second time. Are you drawing? Are you drawing? Are you drawing? Are you drawing? What are we drawing? Hello, Caleb! It's our 11th day. Yes, this is our 11th day and Paul and Evan are watching. Paul and Evan, you're not allowed just to watch. You're supposed to draw with us. As he is asking, is it a carabao? Are these devil horns? Hello, Keisha Villamora. Hello, Marga and Chico, Davin and Daiji. Hello, teacher and classmate, says Davin and Daiji. Where do you draw it? You draw this anywhere. Well, a paper would be a good thing. Wow, Darcy, that's really smart. We shall continue drawing. I hope I'm not going to draw too fast because you might get angry. But hey, you can catch up, don't worry. Is it a giraffe? Is it a moose? Is it a carabao? Is it a cow? <laughs> that all remains to be seen. Hello, Noel. Hello, Noemi and Coco and Hans from Bulacan. Hello, Ava, Natalia. Lara is asking, is it a tamarau? Very smart. Very smart. 
very smart, Alan. Hello, Megan and Audrey. And it's Megan's birthday today. Happy birthday, Megan. Happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday. Pio is asking, can I draw a shark? Yes, you may draw a shark by all means. Why not? I'm not going to stop you. It's the fourth time of Alonzo. Drake says, it's a cow. Marlene says, is it a goat? Estelle is asking, is it a giraffe? Haley is asking, has anyone got it right? My answer is a big yes. Athena and Olivia has got it right. And Jackie has got it right. So many people has got it right. And Noemi says, It's a cow. Not exactly, it's not a cow. Anika is complaining that her internet is so slow. Welcome to the third world is the only thing I can say. Are you drawing? Am I drawing too fast as usual? Charo says it's her third time. Mela says it's her sixth time. Ginger is pretty sure it's a cow. And some people think it's a carabao. And Georgina says hello. And someone says it's her birthday is August 21st. And Gillian is saying, is it a goat? <laughs> and Audrey says, my drawing is so cute. And of course your drawing is so cute. I'm not surprised that your drawing is so cute. <gasps> oh my goodness. Hello, Dwayne and Athena. Hello, Kurt and Bea. Drake is guessing that it's a giraffe. Hello, Patricia. Patricia is saying, Magandang umaga po, Teacher Robert. Magandang umaga. Silver says, it's a cow. And Ava says, it's a carabao. And Anika says, it's a giraffe. And Jody agrees with her. Micah and Rocco says, we love your show. This is a show? It's a party. It's a party where everybody is drawing. It's my kind of party. Hello, Inigo and Mommy Kathy. Good morning. Are you drawing? Are they friends? Oh, most definitely they're friends. Hello, Jesse and Audrey. Jeannie Mandap from Pampanga. <laughs> and the giraffe is noticing the long neck of his friend. Maayong Aga from Bacolod says Kiv. Ryan says, don't draw too fast. Mayap, Mayap, a abak says Jeannie. And Charlotte says it's her second time. And we shall continue drawing. And I hope I'm not drawing too fast. Just tell me if I'm drawing too fast. There's no such thing as a bad drawing, says Silver. Why, we all agree with that. Good morning, Gavin. And Fia says, my birthday is January 23. And Huey says, it's a cow. And Pepper says, I love your drawing. I love your drawing too, Noemi. And I mean Pepper. Hello, Heather and Ginger. Dwayne is correct. 
<laughs> Marga is asking, are we going to finish the puppet today? I hope so! If teacher Robert stops talking too much and drawing too much, are you following the drawing? Are you following the drawing? What is happening in the drawing? Hello, Johan. Buenos dias from Brian Joaquin. All the way from Zamboanga. Joseph says, my birthday is January 15. And Alan says, my birthday is on the 28th. So exciting. <laughs> Michelle says, my birthday is on the 1st of May. Hello, Ribbon Aislinn of Cebu. Yahoo! Let us continue. All right, might as well tell you what we're drawing. It is a tamarau. Do you know what a tamarau is? <laughs> we're always drawing something that's like not a very usual uh, animal, which is quite good so that you can learn something, right? Does anyone know what a tamarau is? Can someone tell me? Oh, Jillian has to go to the bathroom. Yes, go to the bathroom. Go quick and come back quick. Hello, Joaquin, Juliana, and Jacob. As I was saying, can someone tell me the scientific name of the tamarau? Okay, I can see people going into Google. <laughs> Hello, Kyle! It's Kyle's eighth day today. Winka says her birthday is February 24. Maya says her birthday is September 24 as well. Hello, everybody! Am I drawing too fast? Am I drawing too fast? Am I drawing too fast? Yes, it's a tamarau. I'm waiting for someone to tell me what the scientific name is. Hello, Marika. Good morning. Did you just tune in? Can you catch up drawing our tamarau? It's only found in the Philippines. Yes, it's only found in the Philippines, which means it is endemic. Wow, so special. Endemic. Hello, Hannah 30. Hannah and 30 from Iligan. Hello, everybody, and Haley. Hello, Jana. Jana says the Tamarau is quite rare. And Corinne is right. It's Bubalus mindorensis. Can you repeat that after me? Babalus mindorensis. Repeat, everybody. The scientific name of a Tamarau is Babalus mindorensis. Please repeat after me, Babalus Mindorensis. Wow, you guys are so great. Don't forget that when someone says, oh, it's a tamarau, you can say, oh, it's Bubalus Mindorensis. Wow, so impressive. That you know the scientific name of the tamarau. It's also called Mindoro Dwarf Buffalo. Whoa, we're learning a lot today. That's amazing. But what is our tamarau doing? <laughs> 
I don't think I've ever seen a tamarau, a, a photograph of a tamarau doing this. Bubaloos Mindarenses! Bubaloos Mindarenses! Yes! Bubaloos Mindarenses! Yes! Yes, 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 yes. Am I drawing too fast? Am I drawing too fast? Am I drawing too fast? What do you think, Liam? Hello, Lay from Emo City! Bubalus Mindarensis is sitting down, relaxing at home, reading a book. How wonderful. I love books. Apparently, so does Bubalus Mindarensis. Yay! It, they're endemic species. We've drawn so many endemic species. My goodness. We know so many endemic species. We've made so many friends with endemic species. And since we're friends with endemic species, we should care for where they live. Their habitat. We should learn how to take care of their habitat so that they don't disappear because that would be such a sad thing if they disappear. Is the drawing complicated? Wow, Carol says, my drawing is awesome! Nala says, it's reading! Arya says, may I draw a couch instead? Yes, of course! Of course, of course, of course. Hello, Maxine, Rafa, and Nini, says Max and Andy. <laughs> Johan says, can we draw a unicorn next time? Is a unicorn endemic to somewhere? What do you think? So our Bubalus Mindarensis is reading a book and someone else is interested in the book. It's an egret. And someone else is interested in the book that Bubalus Mindarensis is reading. How are you drawing? How are you guys? Jenna has to go to the bathroom. Go ahead, Jenna. I won't stop you. Jack says I'm drawing too fast. Ren is drawing the Bubalus Mindarensis in a picnic. Pauline is asking, can we draw a deer next time? That's a really good idea. Haley says, Hallie says, Haley says that Hallie says that her drawing is bad. And what do we say to that? There's no such thing as a bad drawing. So many interested in Bubalus Mindarensis' book. Hi, Kale and Kate. Hello, Rain. Hi there, Rain. Maria Shello Fernando, that's a really good idea. Maybe we'll do that tomorrow. Hello, Kaden. Hi there, Wendy. I miss you so much. Let's write the name as usual. Fancy lettering. Are you learning anything from my art class aside from drawing? I hope so. I hope I'm going to spell this right. 
I have a bad history of spelling. Jaden says, add a bow tie and a top hat. <gasps> That's a good idea. I'm going to do that right now. Thank you for the suggestion. That's a really good suggestion. And I'm going to make it with a pattern of dots so that it's pretty fancy. How do you like that? Carla says to Haley, no such thing as a bad drawing. Hunter is asking, can we draw a hat? By all means, let's draw a hat. After all, what kind of hat are we drawing? It's like a cowboy hat. It's a cowboy hat. That's amazing. Arya says, I'm still drawing. That's fine. And someone wants to put a cup of tea beside it. That's a really good idea. Summer says, can I draw in cursive? By all means. Do I have the right spelling? Oh, oh my gosh. See, this is what happens. Oh my goodness, I'm, this is terrible. Sorry, guys. I'm not concentrating on the spelling. I'm concentrating on lettering. This is awful. <laughs> I have such a bad track record of spelling. Tomorrow. <laughs> this is really awful. It's a good thing I don't have a boss or else I'll be fired right here and now. <laughs> you guys, you have to help me with spelling, okay? <laughs> what the? What's the big idea? Oh my goodness! Heather and Ginger says, Teacher Robert, I think there's something wrong with your spelling. <laughs> I'm so ashamed. Shame, 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 shame. But, oh well, that's Teacher Robert. I think by now, you know Teacher Robert has a real strange way of spelling things. He knows how to draw, but I don't know about this spelling business. He's not very smart when it comes to spelling. So weird. What's the matter with me? Can we name the Tamarau? Yes, of course, of course, of course, of course. Oh, G has a good idea. Maybe the Tamarau's name is Tara. You guys, you're just too kind to Teacher Robert. Just too kind. My students are the kindest, nicest students on the planet. On the face of the planet or even the universe. Thank you for being so nice to Teacher Robert. I love you guys. Bubalus Mindorensis. Wow. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we should finish this in a little while because we've got other things to do aside from spelling the wrong way. Mindorensis. Gosh, what else is Teacher Robert teaching wrongly? Taram the Tamarau. Yes. And Ray says, it's Taram the Tamarau. Georgina and Jerusha says, hello. <laughs> Joaquin says, you draw so well. 
the spelling mm, is just a little iffy about that. Yes, I completely agree. Are we finished with the drawing? And who is that? I think that's me. With a cookie hat. Cookie hat. From the cookie teacher. We should name the egret as well. Can we draw a horse next time? We should finish this. We sh should finish this right now. I am so ashamed again. Oh well, that's Teacher Robert. <laughs> Alrighty. Are you not done, Joel? Can the egret have a hat? Maybe next time I don't have a place for the hat anymore. Let's finish this. Let's start finishing our puppet which we started yesterday. Is that alright? So that I can get rid of this wrong spelling in front of me which is making me really sh ashamed. Let's get rid of this. And let's get the puppet that we started yesterday. Do you remember? Do you remember? For people who did not do the puppet yesterday, there's a lot of uh, stuff online wherein you can learn how to do this. They actually they call it like a like a fortune teller kind of thing. But what we're doing is making a puppet, right? That's right. So, what else are we gonna add to our puppet? May I have some? A nose, please. I can't smell without a nose. A nose, is it? Is it? Is that important? Of course it's important. A nose it is then. Let's take a pen and let's just draw a nose over here. Can you see? And all I'm going to do is put a black nose. It's like a snout. Truth is, I'm not really sure what kind of animal this is. Probably we'll find out later. I'm just glad I'm not spelling at the moment and making more wrong spelling thingies. So with a pen, just make a little black snout so that our puppet can smell. There you go might be a little difficult because the paper is soft and there isn't a hard surface under. How's that? Perfect! Thank you very much! Now I can smell. Mm. Very good. All right. How are you doing with your nose? How are you doing with your nose? Shall we continue? So, Mr. Puppet, what else can I do for you? May I have some... A pair of ears, please? What? A pair of ears, please? A pair of ears? What do you need a pair of ears for? Puppet! What do you need a pair of ears for? I need ears to hear! You're probably asking me a question and I can't hear because I don't have ears! Please make me some ears! All right, you asked for it. We'll get a piece of paper. Actually, what I'm going to get is the piece of paper that we used yesterday. All right. So, what I'm going to do is I have a pencil. And I'm going to imagine, or there's a word called visualize, the ears that I'm going to put on the puppet. I'm going to imagine 
what kind of ears would I like to put on the puppet? And so I'm going to draw it. I'm going to show you. I'm going to draw as slow as I can. And I'm not sure you can see it because it's a pencil. But I'll try my best. I'm going to make it kind of long. The ears that I'm drawing. Okay. Let me just... There you go. Do you see it? All right. So I imagine the shape and the size of the ears and this is what I came up with a kind of long I have a feeling that the puppet is a dog can you do that please Winka says can we make it a cat yes of course but the ear of a cat would be a bit different from this shape so if you if you've drawn this should I or should I just wait for you first? Should I wait for you? Am I doing it too fast? Again. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it. And again, as usual, if you have an adult with you, you can ask some help from them. But with a pair of scissors, I'm going to cut. I folded it so that I could have, when I cut it, I would have two at the same time so that I don't have to do it twice. So slowly, 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 I'm cutting this ear, this long ear. And if you can't do it by yourself, you can ask from some help from an adult who might be with you. You have to be careful using a pair of scissors because sometimes they're pretty sharp. So I have two ears simply because the puppet needs two ears. Alrighty. So we'll need some glue. I hope you're following and I hope I'm not doing this too fast, but you can always catch up. Don't worry about it. Rina says her puppet is a frog. And I have some glue. Before I put some glue, I'll show you what I'm going to do. I have a piece of, I have a pencil and I'm gonna curl it. I'll curl the top part of the ear. You see that? It's curled. And I'm going to curl the other ear as well. All right. How are you doing? Am I doing this too fast? Sorry if I'm doing this too fast. And again, if you can't do this by yourself, you can ask help from an adult, maybe your mom or your dad or anyone at home. And I'm going to use a bit of glue, just a little bit of glue, okay? And I'm gonna put it over here. Just a little bit of glue. Sorry, Amanda. Hello, Purgy. Nathan says, you know what? I'm just going to draw the ears. You know what? That's a really good idea, too. Maya says, I made my own ears. Very good, Maya. That's a very good idea to make your own ears. That's an excellent idea. And I'm going to glue the ears here on the right. And I'm going to get the other ear. Where did the other ear go? There it is. I'm going to put some, just a little glue on this side as well. On the top. See? On the top. Just there. Just a little will do. Not a lot. And then... 
I'm going to glue it on the other side. And you've got to wait until it kind of dries up. surprise <gasps> it's a dog and Mickey says mine is a dragon and finally our puppet can hear I'm so happy ruff, 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 ruff. happy 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 I hear the music I love it I'm going to dance and sing la 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 so this is what happens when you have ears. Hmm. La la la. Main and Ra Rania says their puppet is a cat. And yes, we realize our puppet is a dog. At least what we have. Our puppet is so happy he can hear. How are you guys doing? Lara's puppet is a mouse. And Shai's puppet is a Chai's puppet is a silly poodle. Rochelle is adding a tongue and some teeth. Wow, that's amazing. Micah says her puppet is so special. Of course it's special. And Matea's puppet is named Blancy. And Justin's puppet is a hare. And Carl's puppet is strangely cute. Very good. Alrighty. Are you done? Do you want to do one more drawing before we we finish up? Just a quick drawing. Is that alright? You guys, you can catch up. You can put the ears later. Right? <laughs> oh my goodness. The puppet likes to be petted. Oh. <laughs> All right, Ryan says, can he put teeth on his puppet? Yes, you may put teeth. You can put a tongue. What you can do is you can cut a piece of paper in the shape of a tongue and you can stick it here. That would be absolutely wonderful. All right. You know what? It's 1049 and if we're going to do a bit of drawing, we should start. So... Can you leave for a while? Yes, of course. Thank you very much for the eyes, for the nose, for the ears. Now I can see, I can smell, and I can hear. Okay, goodbye now. We're going to draw. Bye. Thank you again. And see you guys next time. Bye, bye now. Bye, bye. Okay. Let's have a piece of paper where we can draw a bit. Yes, goodbye, 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 goodbye. <laughs> a piece of paper where we can draw just one quick drawing before we leave, okay? Quick, quick drawing, really quick. You know what? It's the 11th day or 11th time that I've held my class, so... In honor of that, let's put the number 11, please. Draw the number 11. Actually, a number 11 looks like that. Can you draw that, please? 
we just have a few more minutes. We're gonna do this pretty quick. Some people are still drawing or working on their puppet and that's completely fine. So from the 11, let's keep drawing. I'm sorry, I might have to draw a bit fast because it's going to be 11 o'clock in a few minutes. Ren is asking, what are we going to draw? That remains to be seen. I'm going to do this a bit fast and I'm sorry guys. Because it's 11 o'clock and probably you'll have to help your mom or someone at home prepare lunch because as we learned some days ago, we're supposed to do and help with household chores. So maybe you can set the table, right? What are we drawing? 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 From the number 11. From the other 11. From the number 11. It's a Baha'i Kubo, yes! Do you guys know what a Baha'i Kubo is? So from a number 11, we drew a Baha'i Kubo. Isn't that amazing? It's our 11th day, or my 11th day of doing this. I've been very happy and fortunate that I can do this for you. Yes, it's a Baha'i Kubo! And this is like a, a shed for the window at the side of the Baha'i Kubo. It's a house on legs! Or on stilts. And most of the time, and since it's a house on stilts, we'll need a ladder to go up. Sorry, I'm drawing fast, cause it's already about to be 11 and we'll have to help with the cooking and the, the setting of the table. It's a boy, Kubo! And someone is starting to sing! Oh my goodness. And what is the song of Bai Kubo? Do you know? I'm not sure if the people from Canada knows the Bai Kubo song. You can go to YouTube and probably search Bai Kubo song. These are the plants in the Bahai Kubo song. And someone is... Are you singing the song, the Bahai Kubo song? I hope so. I hope you guys know the Bahai Kubo song. And what is this on top of the Bahai Kubo song? I of the Bai Kubo. How is everyone? Hey Jaden, yes Jaden. The song is about all these vegetables. And 
Someone's inside the bahay ko boys waving. Hello. Bahay kubo kahit munti ang halaman doon ay sari sari. Singkamas at talong, sigarillas at mani. All about vegetables. Whoa, amazing. It's a chicken. Or a rooster, more likely a rooster. And the rooster is saying, cock a doodle doo! Wow, we were able to do it even before 11 o'clock. That's amazing! And you can add even more vegetables here like our drawing of gardening the other day my goodness and this is like cabbage and sinkamas and kang kong yum 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 How do you like that? We were able to finish a drawing before 11 o'clock. We did pretty much today. I hope you enjoyed. cock a doodle do It's time to end our drawing party, guys! It's time to say goodbye to our classmates. Thank you very much again for joining me. Thank you, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you have a great day. I hope you help with the household chores. And maybe you can read a book later, like our Bubalus Mindarensis and the Egret. I hope you have a fantastic day. All right? I love you guys so much. I hope to see you again tomorrow. Take care. Take care. Take care. Thank you. Love you.